Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Uh, this is going to have to be a quick one because for some reason I haven't got a lot of um, footage data left on my camera. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Um, short introduction though, Barry M is a brand that is close to my heart. It's a homegrown, very affordable mainstream brand that you can pick up on the high street in most places. And it's a brand that I really helped me to start my collecting addiction so um yeah let's get on with it I've got a swatch wheel here just for those in cases although I'm going to try not to use it because of time um I've got my display unit there so that's where I'm going to put the keeps the maybes will be here and the d stashes will be over here so uh this the the jelly high shine in my opinion, not all of them have got the greatest formula. This is called Plum, and I'm going to de-stash this one. The molten metals are a bit smeary for me on removal, um, and I do have other shimmery metallics that I prefer, so I'm going to de-stash these two. This one here I would have de-stashed, but um, what I've got on my nails at the moment is my Floss Gloss, and this is called Wet from this month's me box and over the top of it just randomly I picked this one up um, and I actually really like it so I would have de-stashed this this is catwalk queen but I'm now going to keep it so that's the first keep <laughs> this one here and some of these bottles have got these they're easy to remove just tip x um, or it was actually a white nail art pen I think that I used or a chalk pen and that was just to indicate the the number of uh, an old system that I had to indicate the number of coats um, I don't really like the finish on these silks there's this really pretty bluish green shimmery bit of a duochrome purpley sheen in there and this is forest and this one is orchid and I just I'm not really that keen on the finish um, even with top coat, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to de-stash both of these. Um, this is a, this is Dragon and this is a pretty shimmery pink, but I've got other pinks that I prefer. And again, not the best formula in my opinion on the um, Jelly High Shine. So that's going. Um, this one here is Guava and this is very similar to... Essie's Garden Variety, which I did de-stash, so I'm going to put this in the maybes and give this a try. What I'll do is I'll update at the end of the video which ones I am going to be de-stashing. Chalk pen all over my hands. This is a new one and this is shimmery, so I'm not so sure I might de-stash this in the future, but it was a Poundland pickup and it's, as you can see, it's magnetic. Um, this is called Moon Dust, and I'm going to keep this just to try it and it's the, it's the only I do like magnetic polishes um, and I tried this actually on swatch wheel and I quite liked it so just because it's the only magnetic Barry M I'm going to keep it this one here is a pretty dusky pink with a gold shimmer and this is called Festival Fever and it was a super drug limited edition i think i'm going to keep this no i'm going to put it in the maybes um this one is fondant and i do like the color on this i do like the pale pastel i'm keeping it um the pale pastels like this one and this is a favorite of mine sugar apple and rose hip both of them great spring shades I hope I'm not basing my de-stash decisions on what I want to wear this season and then regret the ones that I've de-stashed. I'm sure I won't. No, 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 no. Hashtag no regrets. Um, I'm keeping both of these. Um, I'm also going to keep this one, which is again shimmery, but it's a really pretty kind of black currant. Um, what's this one's called? Sparkling Amethyst. And uh, this is nice for later on in the year, so I'm going to keep this. Um, I'm also going to keep this dark raspberry toned red. It's much more of a juicy red actually 
to the eye than it is under the lamp here. This is called raspberry. And I would have de-stashed this, but because it's a kind of bright pinkish red, I'm going to keep this one. This one I'm going to put in the maybes um, because I'm not sure of the formula and I don't know if I've got... A lot of the Barry M's that I have are dupes for other like Essies or OPIs or China Glaze but I'm going to I'm going to put this in the maybes um, and this is Blackberry and I will let you know later on if this has been de-stashed. This one is um, take this off actually just even just for my own purposes I am going to keep this one it's a matte and it's the it's this is called Malibu and it's almost like the matte version of Damson so um, yeah we've lost the flash um, the light so hopefully you can still see this and you might even be able to see this better but the, I like this colour so I'm keeping this one um, these two here speedy quick dry um, this one needed three coats and this one I'm not really that keen on this type of finish so I, I, they dry quick but not as quick as you'd think <laughs> um, but I'm going to de-stash both of these this one here is fashion icon and I believe it's a full coverage yeah full coverage scattered holographic and I'm going to keep that one be nice actually again to be able to see my Barry M's and um, actually wear them again this is similar this is Rockstar another full coverage but this is more of a gunmetal grey I'm going to keep this one okay let's try and speed this up I'm going to grab the coconut infusion collection and I am going to keep all of these because they are a fantastic formula so I don't know how many I've got actually this is two and they do have a nice scent I wouldn't necessarily say um, coconut but it, they do have a fresh scent I'm going to find them and I'll pull them out okay so here are all the coconut infusion so I've got six of them I'm going to keep five of them. I didn't really like the formula on this greyed out taupey colour. So this is called Storm and this is going to be de-stashed. The rest of them I'm going to keep. So here are another couple of... Um, this is another molten metal and this is a super drug. This came in... This is gingerbread which was in a, a special offer set for Christmas and I'm going to de-stash both of these. I'm also going to de-stash this one here which is Mediterranean and this is from the Aquarium collection and it's a orangey coppery metallic with a pinkish shimmer shift in there. Lots of shimmers um, but yeah I just never wear this. Okay, so I've just found these three matte nail paints and I'm going to say goodbye to this one because I've got a better matte in this shade in the set, that the giveaway set that I won from Mrs. Cronall. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. I also am going to say goodbye to this one, but I'm going to keep this neutral shade, which is vanilla. So these two, by the way, are Rosalie and Crush. Um, and so I'm keeping this one. And I've also found another coconut infusion. Yeah. And I'm going to keep this one. So this is Skinny Dip. So I've now got six coconut infusions. I did have seven. I'm going to say goodbye to both of these Lolly Gloss, which are very sheer, glossy. I know that they're great for nail art, but I just haven't ever used them. So these are the two Lolly Gloss and this I think is called Orange Fizz and Purple Pop. So de-stashing both of those. Um, I'm going to keep Earl Grey from the new Frosted Cupcakes collection but I'm going to say goodbye to Blue Velvet just because it required too many coats. 
So this one's going, this one's staying. And this one here is another aquarium, three coats. And it's a colour shifting. This is called Persian. I'm going to de-stash this one. This one is stain. This is Damson. Take note. Debbie, sister chic. This is Damson. Um, okay, here's some more jelly. Hi, Shine. This one is Kiwi. And I'm going to keep this one. I'm definitely going to keep this one is called green berry and this was from a me box just love 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 this shade this is one of my favorites this is cardamom what beautiful one coat khaki gray day out green love it um i'm going to keep elderberry and i'm also going to keep coconut didn't do a very good job there um this matte i'm going to keep this is a very bright this is copacabana which is a dupe, a matte version of, um, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, Cajun shrimp. Yeah, a complete dupe, but a matte version of this I'm going to keep. Um, I'm also going to keep, I think this is almond. Yeah, I've not worn this yet, but I know I'm going to like this shade. This is one that Nika sent me. Um, this one is a sunset curing so one of these yeah, I don't know it's called bugger blue and I do I've got a feeling that I really like this one from memory but I'm going to try it again and put it in the maybe pile um this one here is chili which is another beautiful almost one coat and it's a grey autumn colour keeping this one um this one I think I'm going to de-stash this is peach melba and this is passion fruit slightly more orangey than the matte um copacabana so for now i'm going to keep both of those i'm going to keep this one because mainly because i want to do a comparison with a color club that we got in the last me box um, and i've got a feeling that i really like this vintage violet keeping this one Black Cherry, I'm going to de-stash. Um, I'm also going to de-stash Mango. It's just too much of a tangerine orange for me. I prefer peachy shades. This is Do It Like a Nude, and it's one of the sunsets. I'm going to also put this in the maybe pile. This is Masquerade, and I'm going to keep it full coverage glitter and this I am going to de-stash this isn't a great formula it's just black berry and black black so let's see what we have I've managed to get rid of quite a lot I've even got a, a clear sh sh uh, shelf here at the back um, these are all of the berry M's that I'm de-stashing and these are the maybes and of the maybes here i'll put a slide up at the end that tells you whether i've kept them or whether i've added them to the d stash pile thanks for watching everyone bye i'm also going to d stash <laughs>